I was looking through all of my sketchbook videos because I had this niggling feeling in the back of my mind that I'd forgotten to film one at some point during these last couple of years, which I know is like a crazy thing to, to realize, but I felt like something was missing. And I went through all of the illustrated journals, all my sketchbooks that I have out, and I indeed found that I missed two from 2021. I mean, I miss a bunch from prior to 2012, but I don't know if you ever want to see those. They're not very pretty. So I thought I'd use this. I was looking for one or two. I found two sketchbooks that sort of cover the time between January and August of 2021. A weird time, obviously, because we were mid-pandemic. I think I never filmed these sketchbook tours because I don't love, I still don't love my drawings in them. I think I was under a lot of pressure at the time because of the lockdowns and trying to keep up with work and everything at the same time while the kids were also home. So I think that's part of it. I think also I was doing other stuff. So I was working on my graphic journalism piece, The Invisible Enemy. That took a lot of creative and emotional energy. I think I was painting a lot at the time as well, plus starting a new job. So like this was a very intense time, I think for everyone, but also for me. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I remember this very well. So this was during lockdowns, New Year's Day walk, my mom, Prior to the pandemic, she was babysitting a lot with us. So she was here every week for a full day, taking care of the boys. And then as COVID hit, we no longer felt comfortable with her doing that. So I didn't see as much of her. And on New Year's Day, we decided to go for a walk. It was absolutely freezing, but it was one of the few things we could do. And the next day, we as a family went for a walk. Um, I remember this day very well, it was absolutely beautiful. It was very foggy and the landscape of the heath was like kind of spooky, especially the area where we went to. There's lots of burial hills around there and it was very eerie, but like in a beautiful way. Online drawing with my sketch friends, doing lots of painting. sketching some people I was on a Zoom call with. I don't recognize most of these people, so I clearly did not do a good enough job <laughs> capturing their likeness. Some people here I recognize, but I was drawing a lot of people I saw walking by the windows at that time. This is a theme that will come back a few times. Working for my bed. news. I remember trying to think about like to what extent do I want to capture this moment in time and the historical context. I think in the future where hopefully this is all a memory and we're not all dead because of climate change and everything or war, who knows. This will be such an interesting time to look back at and I already think it's kind of doing that, right? Can you, like thinking back to those days feels kind of crazy already. Even though at the time I never thought it would change. Um, and it was a really hard time for everyone, I think, and we still got lucky. This is funny. Lots of painting. Oh yes, I remember this so well. It was really, really cold and it snowed. Um, the boys are so excited. This is near the boys' school. We lived really close to the school. We still do, but we're a little farther away now. And I love when you're when you draw your day. The memories are so much more intense for me than when I don't. When I don't. Okay. Anyway, painting. Like everyone, I was starting to cut kids' hair. Also got the year wrong, because what is time?
This is fun. Jacob and I got into the habit of drawing together, so he would draw like his monsters and I would help him color it in. This is absolutely awesome. I love kids art, like it's absolutely my favorite. Oh, this is funny. So this describes how during lockdown we were going for walks, like solo walks, and we found this, or I found the street independently of Jochum, who also found this street, sort of this canal near our home back then, um, that we found very pretty. And we're like, oh my God, I never realized that this exists here. And so yeah, I'd never seen this part of town. It was green with big trees and lovely Amsterdam style houses. It was nice to discover something new and to be outside. This is now the street we live on. So this is when we both, we had both sort of independently found this street or this area. And uh, we're like, oh my God, this is amazing. We didn't know this was here. This is when we decided to move here. Funnily enough, one of our neighbors mentioned that they moved in here for the exact same reason. They walked around during lockdown and were like, this is beautiful because we have a beautiful park and like water in front and it's, it's absolutely stunning. Another cool Jacob drawing. Live drawing online. Watercolor and pencil, I think. Oh yeah, I remember we lived like, like this one, I don't know. Like finding this one was well done and I kind of surprised myself. <laughs> I sometimes do. Uh, and then another one, this one I also really liked. I do like portraits. And that was it, Jan to March 2021. And then this one's April, April to August. Some painting to start off with. Some people, I think I found these people on Instagram. I'm pretty sure I was drawing outfits and people I really liked. This is nearby. I don't love this. I don't like the colors. I don't love the textures. But... Ooh, yes, I got my LASIK eye surgery. Went well, super happy I did it, would recommend. Drew a cafe I didn't go to because clearly everything was closed. Yay! My mom got, got the vaccine. I <laughs> kind of love this. I've been struggling lately and it feels hard to explain why. Um, maybe because the world was felt like it was coming to an end. Anyway, we went out for a date night in at the hotel and I remember this was really odd. Like the room was beautiful and we had booked like a four course meal, but they were like delivering it to the door, then knocking and basically like running away so that we could eat a nice meal and support the restaurant while everything is still closed. Finally, it's spring here. That was May. Yeah, so this year it's also really, it's been cold. Lockdowns had lifted, I think. We met some colleagues in person, which was, I remember being so awkward. It's one of the first times we had done that with my new team, and it was just really weird. Uh, not been feeling great. I think I gained some weight. <laughs> and then I bought new clothes and I felt fine. Yeah. 
went out for an actual drawing date with my sketch friends, with my crew. This is the drawing I did. I do like this one. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Look, we bought the house. That went quick. Some outfits, having fun with it. And then Jacob. We're going through a lot of changes. Our wedding anniversary. We went out. Did we go for dinner? Yes, we did. We did go out. The end. So indeed, I would say these two are not my favorite, ooh, my favorite sketchbooks, not my favorite journals. I think you can tell I was struggling mentally at the time, which is not very surprising, but I think you can tell. And I think that's probably why I didn't film this. Or maybe the house was just never quiet and I didn't film it because there was no place to film it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tour nonetheless. Let me know if you want me to do some older, so like pre-2012 sketchbook tours. They're very different and very, yeah, I'm still learning, right? So that might be nice to see where I got started all these years ago, over 10 years ago now. Let me know if you want to see that and otherwise I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.